So once you are inside your ads manager, you are going to set up a new ad, right? So let's go towards create. And on the create, we are going to go, go with a campaign objective of leads. As you can see on the leads, we will have the instant form, which we will use to capture the lead data and send it back towards you chat. So once chosen, press continue, and then let's go with a manual leads campaign. Just takes a few seconds. So let's say this will be lead for demo. Not going to select any kind of categories. We're going to go with next. The most important part and the ad sets I will leave as is as well. The most important part is that you are going to create a form. So I will leave the ad set as is as well because I just want to go towards the form section. On the form section, if we scroll down on the ad itself, we will come towards a section where we can create an instant form. You will already see that I have a few forms available, but let's create a new form from scratch. We'll give it a name first. So let's give it a name. Uh, let's just say lead form uh, demo. Then we can also go towards settings and you can also go with some sharing options, right? So your ad can be shared by anyone and can submit this form. So I will just set it to open for in this case, but you can set it towards restricted. So only people who are delivered to ad directly can submit this form. You can also have some additional form field names. So if you want to include email uh, or full name and you want to give it another field name, you can do so as well. You also are able to include tracking parameters. I will just leave them as is because it's not important for our section. The form type is also totally depending on your own preference. I will leave it at more volume. Then we will go towards the intro part. And for the intro part, you can use a background image. Mine is automatically fetched from my Facebook page, but you can also use any of your uploaded images. So if I say use uploaded image, um, so let me just choose something really quick from my files. So let's say I want to implement a lead form where people can um, basically watch my premium uh, video, right? So let's go and let's say creating. Uh, so want to learn how to write 100% human copies with chat GPT. Then we can say description will be just fill in your data below and I will send it to you. There we go. Then we will come towards the part with questions. And for the questions, uh, we can go with adding a question, right? So we can have additional questions. We also have pre-fill questions. And pre-fill questions are basically data that Meta already has. It makes it easy for users to just check the uh, pre-filled uh, data, right? From their Facebook accounts or their WhatsApp account, Instagram account and then just press OK. But if you need any additional information like business name and stuff like that, you can add a question here. You can give a multiple choice, short answer, conditional or appointment request even. I will just go with the preview questions and I will just add one more and that is the phone number. I will go with the full name on top and actually let's delete the full name because I want to have a first name and a last name. So let's see if we can go with a first name and then also with a user information last name. So let's just drag everything in the correct order. There we go. So we have the contact information, first name, last name, email, and the phone number. And these are all going to be populated dynamically. So Important is also that you will need to add a privacy policy. So you can just link towards your website for any kind of privacy policy. So let's say, uh, in this case, TOS. Oh, this is the link, sorry. So just uh, let me grab something from my own website. So let's fill that in. There we go. And then we will have something like TOS and it will then end up in the privacy policy overview. 
You can also add a custom disclaimer if you like to, but I will just leave as is. Then we also have a message for the leads. And then we have something like, thanks, you're all set. Uh, and then you can visit our website or exit the form now. And that's basically it, right? So we can have a call business, a few website or a few file. And then we can also basically have a call to action text. So let's say, uh, we can also have something like this. And we can just add in a link. So I will just add in a link towards Google for now. There we go. And I think we filled everything in. Let's see. We have the intro. We have the greeting. And we have the questions. And also here, we it is important that you fill in the description. So let people know how the information they give you will be used or shared. And we could say something like, so we could say something like this. We keep your data safely stored on our service and will not share with third parties. I think that is about it. So let's just say publish. There we go. And now we have our form published. So you can set up your own uh, complete ad, right? That is not the intention of this, um, of this workshop. I'm assuming that you know how to set up your Facebook ad. But we have a different way of testing this lead, how this works. We will show you that inside the next video.